Okay, so today has been a very, very uh, pro good day. Got a lot done. As you can see, this is how I work. I'm very organized. <laughs> I can't be bothered with <laughs> putting things away neatly, I guess. The idea is there. The ending is really strange, which I kind of like. This is what I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to just share the stage with some really cool soul legends. And there's so many of them, and it's so awesome to like see them, learn about them. I really didn't know about Bobby, Bobby Patterson, honestly, and I have to say thank you, you know, Steve from Continental Club because he's always been really good to me, and he always really just kind of gives me some cool nights. So um, I'm, I'm really excited to be playing with this this gentleman and to have this opportunity. And the Continental Room is such a cool room to play. You know, it's always got such music enthusiasts come to the Continental Room, so I just, I love being there. So I'm very excited about that. I hope if you're watching this that you'll come if you're in Austin and hang out with us. We play at 10 o'clock. It is a $10 cover, and uh, Bobby Patterson goes on at 11.30. But we'll have the entire five-piece band, so we'll have some keys, some drums, bass, and then we'll have Nettie singing harmonies with me, so I'm pretty excited about it. To my work, so I can make some black eyed peas and set lessons tonight. I'm taping now because it's virtually impossible to get any decent sound after and during the midst of it all. But here's everybody. Betty's already on the stage. There's people out there. Yes, okay. There she is. It's her honeysuckle bush. Today, I'm editing a video blog. Gonna give this thing a whirl and see what happens about. Talking about a day in life. Okay, we're all heading out to uh, the Iguana Grill to play a show, and it is hot. Jen said she saw 109 in her car, so. Anyway, we're heading out there, and it's gonna be awesome. I love playing this place, and we're playing as a trio, which I really love doing. Although I miss the backup vocals. Um, but, you know, we do what we can for, for now. And um, lots of good things happening. I'm very excited about uh, the possibility of going out to Baton Rouge next month and talking more with the booking agent. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to head out. And uh, I will check in in a minute. Bye. Yeah, yeah. They're going to girl, get ready to pay. Some new friends, some old friends I haven't seen in a while. <laughs> Stacy. <laughs> So I'm in the car, trying to listen to the new song so I can remember the lyrics that I wrote, so I can do it tonight, and I just shoveled down mozzarella sticks and jalapeno poppers from Jack in the Box. Sometimes it's like that. I was starving. Alright, see you inside. Standing out here in the parking lot, I wanted to wine because my, I ran out of gas. I know. How? Well. 12 years old, so the gas gauge is a bit wonky at times. I mean, sometimes she tells me she's on E, and all of a sudden she's like, nope, just kidding, got a quarter tank. I haven't done this since I owned a 1962 Volkswagen bus, and that can be expected. <laughs> this is just silly. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it's a beautiful night tonight. A really beautiful night. There's this wispiness in the sky. Can you see this? I'll show you. Uh, so pretty. Ag aggressive guy, Tom, to bring me a couple of gallons of gas. And then we'll head home. And we're supposed to go to the gallery tonight um, to hear Sniz, and I think Nate's playing organ. Yep, it's him. Gotta go. Never mind, just some other guy with a big ass truck I'm laying on the car. I just want to go home. We'll see what happens.
happens when I get home. Maybe I'll get a second win after I eat some salad. I had mozzarella sticks and a couple of jalapeno poppers. Mama can't eat fried food anymore. <laughs> it was coming back to haunt me all night. So tomorrow, nothing. Friday, we're going to play PBK, Stem and Sign. I'm supposed to learn some Aretha Franklin tunes. I'm a little behind an hour or two. Bug. And uh, go over a couple of Aretha tunes. And I think I'm just going to bring the sheet music. I'm just sorry. I'm a slow study. I did the new song tonight, Anything. Couldn't remember the words, even though I wrote them, I typed them out. Thought that would help. Couldn't remember. I'm riding my bike up to this new little store, um, right by HEB, to get some creamer. He kicked out Janis Joplin out of his band because, as he said, she couldn't sing. I mean, rhyme or reason? Remember, and this is one of the most difficult. It says, difficult first, as most wonderful statements to grasp. I love how he puts difficult first because it's again all the time. Tomorrow, to really work on some bookings, which I really need to do. It's pretty interesting. The last two weeks, I have been severely, and I mean severely, blown off by two venue bookers. I figure for every two of those that happens, at least four good ones come to fruition. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to show with John Lockhart uh, in July, July 24th, at the Saxon Put. It's kind of country rock, but we're doing some very traditional country songs like Silver Wings and uh, Amarillo. I'm getting the titles wrong. I'm not that familiar with country. But I have to say, I'm really kind of digging on the country. I mean, um, it's funny for me to play because it's very just up and down strummy kind of stuff and you have to really relax and I'm used to digging in on guitar, you know, and hitting some kind of punches on the bass notes. So it's, <laughs> it's me having to be very mellow, which is hard for a spaz. Yes, I do call myself a spaz. Incredibly grateful for my life. I love that I am playing music full time. I've never played music full time until I moved to Austin. And I gotta tell you, it's tiring. But it's not as tiring when I had to wait tables and then go to rehearsal three nights a week or two nights a week, plus have a songwriting session once a week. I like being pushed. I mean, I like being busy too, actually. I really do like to be healthy. I just, you know, I also like to get a little loose and a little crazy. <laughs> Good in the hood. Comments from my friend Randy Stern, who is a fantastic singer songwriter, and just talk another gentleman, great guy, just always, always talking in the positive, always talking about abundance and goodness. And it's such a joy to be around him. New venues, agents, and such I've been reaching out to, and music supervisors, and work on some music. Jen hasn't even seen this. I got the new mouse. Pretty. Back from uh, Brad's house, and what I realized that I did was I gave him a bunch of live stuff with no keyboard parts. <laughs> so I'm sitting here now, going back to giving him all the recorded stuff that he doesn't have. Tonight, I'm gonna leave I didn't get any footage before or during or anything like that. You can't really see here anyway. Well, until next time. <laughs>